Hello there and welcome back. So we are now ready to move on to creating our controllers for our list view on our create. But we're going to start off with the list view controller first. So let's jump in. Task controller. So here's our task controller. And I'm going to re rename this to task dash controller. And I'm going to call this task controller. And one of the things I want to inject in here is I want to inject task and I also want to add inject task D A O, right? If you remember, but we want to be able to have our controller use our task in our, our model and then our task D A O to get stuff done. So um, these are string by the way. So um, you know I can I can do them however I want. Um, so there we go, and this is task and task DAO. All right. And then what we can do is um, this is using the controller as method um, of doing things. So for, for a controller, so we can say self that to um, task is equals to new task. So we create a new empty task, right? And we're going to use that to populate our front end. What are we going to give to the thing? Um, but which controller is this? I did say I thought I want to split out our controllers, right? I wanted to have a list controller and a um, create controller. So let's start with a list controller first. So this is our list controller, and I'm going to put this as task, and I'm going to say there's a empty array, and then one of the first thing I want to do is probably say use the DAO. So I don't actually need, you know, um, I can actually rename this to task that's list controller and I'm going to do copy this and I'm going to do create a new file called task create controller js and I'm going to paste this in there and this is going to be our create controller and I'm going to leave this one for now um, I'm just going to I know that I need this new task so I'm going to leave that and I'm going to that go back here to our list controller and I'm gonna say you know what in for listing we probably don't need to actually create an individual task so I'm gonna take that out and so we have an array and then what do we have well we have from our DAO we have that if you call the task DAO okay and you say that um, get all for example right um, what does it do? It returns a, um, a, a, um, promise, right? So we can, if we go look here, we can see that uh, when we call, you know, get all, it returns a promise that gets resolved or we can catch an error on. So we're going to do uh, list that and then we do that then right if this is gets returned with a set of tasks if it's successful we get a letter set of tasks on the back end what do we want to do we want to say self that task is equals to um, this task right that is returned from um, the back end um, of course if it's rejected or there's um, a error, um, so catch, we want to do catch, catch any error, function and error. And so we're going to say self that MESG error message or something, let's do message is equals to error, right? So there's a self that message MESG equals to empty string that we're going to have exposed to the view. So now that we have our controller, in the next video, we're going to see how to put our view on to use this controller. So of course, we have to create an appropriate route and then link them up. So on to the next video. Hopefully you are practicing and not having any issues. See you in the next video. Bye.